You're watching the TC MMA podcast. So it went down this past weekend, man, and Alex Pereira came out on top, as you all know by now. If you're watching the show and you don't know Alex Pereira won, you missed it all, man. Alex Pereira is one of the best fighters uh, of our time. It's clear. We got to give the man some respect. And I know some of you are just saying, well, he already beat Yuri, and he beat him in the same way. And Chris Cross, you said it was going to be a tougher fight. And you're right, I thought it would be. And that's why I'm coming to you today to say, hey, Alex Pereira's for real. Because he's fighting a much better Yuri. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. And it looked to me like Yuri was taking this fight really serious. I mean, he had prepared to come in here and win. Yeah, the fight was on short notice for both guys. But, you know, again, it just highlights how good Alex Pereira is. He's now defended the light heavyweight belt multiple times. Uh, both against Jamal Hill and Yuri. Uh, I think Jamal Hill will be better in the future, right? Uh, after he deals with these injuries, but not on the level of Alex Pereira. And they're talking Magomed and Goliath. I just don't see it. Okay, let's get that fight in. He's going to fight three times uh, in a year for the third consecutive year. 2022, 2023, 2024. And I'd even go back to 2021. But I know the last three years, especially this year, again, he's uh, projected to fight three times. So put him against Magomed and Goliath, let him beat him, let John Jones beat Stipe. We all know what's going to happen. And then can we get this fight set up, please? Please. But this is what it sounded like. Here's the uh, big KO over Yuri. Uh, less than 48 hours ago. I mean, it was a wee hours of the morning on Sunday. Check it out. Here we go. Round two. Let's see. See if Yuri's recovered. See if Pedetta wants to bring it. Test him a little bit. Oh, big leg kick drops Yuri. And now he's dropping the hammers. Look at this. Yuri's in big trouble and that's it. The ref pulls off Pedetta. And this guy is ridiculous. And I don't know if Yuri knows what's going on. Wow. 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 To see someone do that so easily against Yuri Prohaska is unbelievable. I mean, Alex Padetta is unreal. And didn't waste any time into round two, landing a big leg kick. And Yuri Prohaska goes down again. And I think now... He's probably going to say something about the heavyweight again in the interview. I think you got to let this guy do what he wants to do. I mean, you got to let him. Yeah, Joe Rogan saying that now too. Now it looks like he hurt his toe once again as he did in the last fight. Beam. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Alex Padetta is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. And still champion. Boom. That looked a lot like, I think it was Justin Gaethje on Dustin Poirier. A lot like that. And the fight was over when he landed a leg kick. Really. Wow. Wow. And once Alex Pereira lands that initial big kick, punch, whatever, his finishing ability is just superb. I mean, it's just superb. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's unbelievable. You just see it time and time again, man. This guy is unbelievable. I just can't believe it, man. And it looked like, I mean, Padetta might have hurt his toe again. But listen, he holds the belt. He's the man. Middleweight champ. Light heavyweight champ. And uh, potentially a future heavyweight champ. Could be the first guy with three belts. Ever. 
in the UFC, and that's why you got to let him do it. Because him versus John Jones at heavyweight, eventually, that's ridiculous. Alex Pineda wins. He holds the belt. He's now 11 and 2. Just 11 and 2. Think about those 11 fights. He gets another win here and defends the belt at UFC 303. Yeah, I'd say let him do it. Joe Rogan was calling for it too. But Dana White, not so sure. He wants him to clear out the division. What does that mean? He's got to fight Magomed and Goliath. Okay, so let's get that done this year. And then let's start looking at heavyweight. Now, the problem is John Jones will have this man waiting a year and a half, two years to fight. Padetta is used to fighting every three months. You see, so, and then also if Padetta has to keep waiting, he's going to end up being, what, 38, 39? Let me get his, his exact age right now. I'm pretty sure it's 37. Yeah, he's 30. He's about to turn 37 on July 7th. So, you know, it, it's got to be next year. It's got to be within the next year or two before we start slowing down, right? So if they're going to make it happen, the time is now. I mean, the time is right now. The next question is, is we got to move him back to white, but what do we do with Alex Pereira now? Does he move above Islam? Ugh. So here's the thing. If Islam goes up and wins the welterweight, is that better than middleweight and light heavyweight? I say no. Uh, and I keep thinking, okay, there's a chance Pereira could lose the belt. So let me hold him at four. But now I'm not so sure. Now I feel like he's not going to lose the belt. I think he might be above Islam on the dude list. We're going to I'm pretty sure I'm going to move him up to three. Drop Mahachev to four. I hate to even move Mahachev down on any list. But Alex Pereira has proven it, man. And he's fought, what, three or four times since the, yeah, four times. Since the Adesanya loss and won all four at light heavyweight. I mean, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Now, people getting on uh, Adesanya today, right? And over the weekend, fans are taking aim at him over his reaction to the card, saying that this card was cursed as he reacted to the. Pereira KO. Now, he's not going to give Pereira any props because in their last fight, Adesanya won. So fans are going to be upset because this is the one guy that could speak up and say, hey, hey, don't forget about me. I beat him last time, right? But even if Adesanya, you know, that was at 205, even if, you know, in depleted, uh, again, he's turning 37. So to get down to 185, was it? Yeah, 185 middleweight. Against Adesanya, that's really tough when he's walking around at 230. You can't continue to do that as you get older. So I think that's, that helped in the loss, even though he could have very easily won that fight. That helped in the loss. Adesanya, light heavyweight, I don't think he has a chance against Pereira. But hey, who am I to say? He's got enough to worry about in the middleweight division with Duplessis right now. Does Alex Pereira have a case for number one? in the MMA pound-for-pound pound rankings. That's another topic being discussed. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's so tough with uh, with Islam, John Jones, and Alex Pereira now. But I think this is why people want to see the Pereira-John Jones fight because he'll be going for the first UFC fighter to ever win three belts. Uh, Dana White doesn't see it just yet. How much is he protecting John Jones? Like, I'm not accused... Uh, accusing him of that by any means but he he it's no understatement that he's a big fan of john jones and believe he's the best fighter of all time what if alex Pereira come, Pereira comes up to heavyweight and ko's john jones that would that would be terrible for his legacy so is there any of that going on i don't know i'd say probably not but you never know but the bottom line is that's the fight that uh that everybody wants to see. Pereira versus John Jones. Not Pereira versus uh, Magomed Ankalaev and not John Jones versus Stipe. Like, they're both going to win those fights. It's ridiculous. That's the fight that people uh, want to see. Make no mistake about it. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. 
Last fight a call, UFC at its height yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might Saying, step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless no abandon Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass